So I am Sangram Shinde from Department of Mechanical Engineering of KIT College of Engineering Autonomous Kolhapur. So, so today we have to discuss about the wind, wind energy. It is the introduction to the wind energy because we already discuss nowadays it is very important to use these renewable energy sources because what is the energy we are getting from these uh, uh, power plants it is the thermal power plant where the very high quantity of pollution is there when we are burning the coal to get a energy lot of uh, we can say gases are liberated which are going to the environment and it is really harmful for the our environment trees uh, human beings human health we can say so this is the one uh, energy the wind energy nowadays i think about 44000 megawatt which is coming from this wind energy in our country so we will discuss so first one the this is the wind turbine power plant you can see on the screen this is the wind turbine there are three main parts in which it is the rotor is there in which we can say the blade hub and nose cone these are the major part of the rotor then nacelle is there in which all the parts major parts are accommodated it is the rotor shaft main bearing control panel sensors gearbox rotor brake generator yaw assembly then uh, girder is also there nacelle cover is there and third part it is the tower so if you are taken 1500 kilowatt wind turbine uh, generator three blade pitch regulated wind turbine with rated power of 1500 kilowatt or 1.5 megawatt about 82 meter diameter rotor is required to get this because uh, we already seen what is the power it is one half rho a v cube so here a a means area so what is the area if you are taken 82 meter diameter area will be pi by 4 d square it is the 82 meter so glass fiber reinforced plastic rotor we are using this is the material which we are using for the blades with a aerodynamically optimized okay so aerodynamically shaped blades we are using in the wind turbine high strength to the to the weight ratio because uh, weight should be less it is the requirement and also strength should be high because continuously it will be sustaining that particular high pressure air then good fatigue properties and high elasticity integrated lightning protection it is very important in the rainy season lightning uh, is the major problem to this particular wind turbine generator blades are mounted on the slew bearing which is turn in mounted on spherical graphite iron hub rotor is mounted on the rotor shaft with the through holes for a pitch wire then safety systems which are included in the any wind turbine it is the lightning arrester braking system independent over speed relay vibration analyzer uh, analyzer switch differential protection emergency stop higher le level braking uh, programs overload short circuit and earth fault so typical parameters of wind turbine these all the parameters should be measured properly in that wind turbine generator so very important is the wind direction wind speed yaw angle pitch angle blade wise cable twist it is again very important hydraulic pressures uh, number of pressures we have to measure because the oil is circulated for the gear box uh, the braking braking system speed of rotor speed of generator grid frequency grid voltage current power factor electricity generation ambient humidity we have to measure ambient temperature we, have, we should measure panel temperature <coughs> oil temperature of the gear box temperature of the generator winding temperature of the gear box and generator bearings vibration in the nacelle rotor over speed and north sensor so all these parameters should be properly measured and we have to check every time these uh, all the parameters then and then only then what are the components uh, of the wind turbine generator you can see blade so major uh, function the material we can say it is the glass fiber reinforced plastic generally we are using conversion of kinetic energy of wind into the mechanical energy this is the main uh, can say aim of the blade you can see in the diagram the blades are shown it is really a bigger one because then and then only we are getting the more area because area is directly proportional to the power hub in which the blades are mounted on the hub hub possesses the necessity uh, necessary strength and rigidity which is required for the mounting the blades hub is attached to the 
low speed shaft which is further connected with the gearbox. It can withstand extreme load cases and has high factor of safety. Its ductility is very high. Hub consists three pitch bearings and three pitch drives because three uh, blades are there. So, these three things are required in that. Also, hub housing is required, slewing the ring bearing, the pitch drive with motor in which the pitch drive and pitch motor are required, hub pitch panel in which frequency converter, DC to DC converters are also required. Battery backup, is, uh, battery backup is also required in the uh, grid failure. Resolver is required in that in which uh, the pitch motor speed is uh, continuously monitored. Position encoder is also there, how much pitching is carried out. So, for this position encoder is required. So, you can see in the diagram, this is the pitch drive with motor. The pitch drive, the pitch motor are mounted on the pitch drive. The pinion of the drive turns the slew ring and turn pitches the blade. Pitch drive rotate the slew ring with the low speed and high torque. So, pitch motor again, the pitch motor give torque for the turning or pitching the blade. The resolver is mounted on the shaft of the motor to measure the speed of the motor or speed of the pitching. Three pitch motors can individually pitch the blades. The blade can be positioned with an accuracy of 0.1 degree. The resolver give feedback to the motor speed to the controller to ensure the simultaneous pitching of the all the blades. Nacelle where it is seen, it is the main part in which all the parts are accommodated in which the rotor shaft, main bearing, top control panel in which the speed monitor, battery charger card, power supply card is available. Then sensors, vibration sensor, uh, vibration analyzer is required, rotor speed sensor, incremental encoder uh, is also there in which the generator speed sensors are available. So, these are the sensors, you can see yaw sensor and north position sensor is required, twist swap sensor is available, anometer to measure the velocity, wind vane to measure the direction of the wind, pressure switch to measure the all the pressure, hygrostat to measure the humidity, brake on off our uh, pad wear sensor, PTC positive uh, temperature co coefficient sensor is also there, gearbox and accessories, gearbox, lubricat uh, lubrication pump, filter unit, oil, oil cooler is also there rotor brake, generator, your assembly, in, uh, your assembly main frame, your rim or gear rim we can say, your drive with motor, girder is required to accommodate or uh, to give the support to the generator and nacelle cover. So, all these are these uh, we can say sensors which are available in any wind turbine. Okay? So, uh, we can see here the rotor brakes are also available because uh, continuously generally rotor brakes are provided on the high speed shaft to give the brakes uh, to stop this particular uh, wind turbine generator generally <coughs> doubly feed generators we are using in that so even if uh, the grid uh, have working uh, on the low frequency again the doubly feed generators we are using in that which will be uh, managed even if the frequency of the uh, grid is very less. Okay. So, this is the wind turbine or uh, we can say this is the wind turbine. Uh, the, so, I think we stop here now.